when I when I wanted to wear a CGM, I was more like, how is watermelon going to affect my glucose? Where where does lack of sleep come into that? Because I have seen I've read studies, and we were talking a little bit about this before before we you know started the mm -hmm. podcast. And that is, first of all, when I became a new parent, and I my just, my sleep was entirely Terrible. wrecked. I mean, yeah. just entirely wrecked. I mean, I aged like ten years, and like, <laughs> but for a on. good cause. But for a good cause, I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. Um, my my postprandial glucose, which is what I was monitoring at the time with my continuous glucose monitor, was, I mean, it was not Terrible. my normal. I mean, I was pre-diabetic. Yeah. it was unreal. Um, and so I started looking into literature, and this was the most surprising thing. When I when I wanted to wear a CGM, I was more like, "How is watermelon going to affect my glucose?" Yeah. And I was more yeah. interested in the fruit and the oh, look what a grape did! This is insane. And and then and then it was like the disrupted sleep and everything else. Nothing mattered anymore. I was like, yeah. "This is real. Like this is the real deal here." Um, and I started looking into the literature where sleep, you know, sleep deprivation after one night, yep. like half, you're getting four hours of sleep instead of yep. eight. You can be insulin resistant the next day, and I'm like, "What?" Oh yeah. So I'd yeah. love to hear about that and how that's contributing to this, you know, fast yes. cause of insulin. Yes. Resistance. Well, everything you just said, I am nodding to because I I can relate. Um, uh, where I when I've worn CGMs, I absolutely see that the single most predictive variable of my glycemia in any given day is how did I sleep. I, I, nothing and I, that I've played around with, nothing has even come close. So when you get one bad night of sleep, the stress home, so it fits under the stress category to put a, to make it uh, very succinct. So of the three primary causes of quick insulin resistance, it's stress when it comes to sleep deprivation. One bad night of sleep will result in a much higher and disrupted rhythm of cortisol. And, and so cortisol is, will cause insulin resistance in every biological model very quickly. So too will epinephrine and epinephrine is another stress hormone, sort of the faster stress hormone, the cortisol being a little more delayed. But both of them are higher um, with regards to sleep deprivation. And even, even epinephrine, even adrenaline can cause insulin resistance in humans. If you do a steady little drip in a human of adrenaline, they're gonna be insulin resistant, demonstrably insulin resistant within just an hour or two. To make, so that's how sleep deprivation causes uh, insulin resistance. And to make matters even worse, what is the most common intervention to try to offset the negative consequences of sleep deprivation? Well, it's more caffeine. Well, more caffeine is gonna increase epinephrine even more. Epinephrine causes insulin resistance. So even the solution to the sleep deprivation ends up inadvertently compounding the metabolic consequences of the sleep deprivation.